This is the Kohan 7 inch IPS touchscreen uh, multimedia player. It's compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto um, with Bluetooth mirror link. It also have a FM and it's also voice control. I got this on Amazon. I will leave like everything I review on this channel. I will leave, I will leave the link for you guys down below where you can get this. And whenever you buy with our link, you, you help this channel also. So I got this on Amazon. It's 185. Um, this is a 2022 um, model. And we'll just go ahead and open this up quickly. And I, like I said, the main reason I bought this was because of the um, Android Auto CarPlay on this. Because every time I travel and I drive a rental, I always get myself using one of these in the renters. And my car, which is an Infinity, doesn't have this because they only put this um in the infinity on the 2020 um model and up so let's go ahead and open this up and we'll we'll go from there so guys this is everything that comes in the box you have the the manual you also have the charging cable it's a type c cable which is pretty cool you have an av cable you also have a silicone pad if you want to use that on on your dash you have the mount and a bracket again for your dash and you have a double car charger and here you have the seven inch um, IPS multimedia player on there, guys. And if we look around here, you can see all the controls. So you have two mics at the front, two speaker grills. You have a, a button to control for voice control. You have a volume up and down rock. On the side, you have the charging port, which is a DC five volts. Um, that's where you're gonna use your type C cable. You also have an area there for a mini SD card. So if you wanna put in um, information or music or audio um, for SD card. You also have a USB, so if you want to put in movies and stuff like that in there, you have your AV in and you have your aux out. If you want to put a backup camera, you can also add it to that also. You have the area to put your, your mount on and basically that's it guys. So here you have your mount set up there. Here you have one of your mount set up. You can have this in your car on your dash set up just like that. You can in different positions. You can have it. Unscrew that part here. Take this out. We're gonna remove that. This goes in here. This push in here. And just like that. So, so you have different options there, guys. And we plug it in. You can see it's coming on right away. And you can see it's on. So you have your Bluetooth for phone calls. You have your phone link. So you have your mirror link on this one here, which I haven't connected yet, but you can do that to mirror your phone. You have your Apple CarPlay connection. You have your Android Auto. You have your AV in if you want to bring in stuff. You also have an FM transmitter on there if you want to play um, different radio stations or you want to you want to have this connected wirelessly to your to your stereo in your car and you can have audio from directly from from your car. You have your settings area, Bluetooth music, your SD card, your USB. Um, you can go into your settings. You can see you have all your all your stuff on there connected um, there. Um, the connection here you can do it in two ways. You can go here, so you can use a wire to connect it here, or you can do wireless. I think most people are gonna do wireless. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna go to your you're gonna go to your smartphone. You're gonna go to your settings, Bluetooth connection. You're gonna go to your Bluetooth device. You're gonna go all the way down. You're gonna tap on Kohan here and it's gonna go, it's gonna start connecting and it will connect to the device. And there you go. And then you can go back. That's your back button right there. You use that. You can go to Android Auto. It will start to look for, for connection. If you hang with Android Auto, it's gonna ask you to download Android Auto and it's gonna connect. And here you have your Android Auto connected. And like I said, you can connect this wirelessly through the FM radio to your stereo. So anything you hear um, from your phone should go on there. You can see right there, I have YouTube music right there. So you can start, you can play YouTube music on there and you're gonna be hearing that through your stereo. And if you want, you can tap on, on that button right there and it'll open up all the, all the apps you have on your Android Auto. And you can see there's a bunch of apps there. You have YouTube music, you have your phone. Um, calendar and you can see I can I can swipe on there customization you can customize and have you have to unlock your phone so you can see all the apps on there that you can you can have to show on there um, there's a lots of apps on there you can show on there I can take out some just to make sure that I do have 
too much stuff on there. You have Samsung Music, which I don't really use. You have WhatsApp, YouTube Music, um, Smart Things. We can take that out. Um, Reminder, we can take that out. Podcasts, we can leave that. Phone News. Um, sometimes I read the news on YouTube News. Um, Games now, we can take that out. So you can, you can go in there and customize it to how you want it. And then you go back and then you can go on there and you can see all the things that you want to be on there will be on there with all that said let's go in the car and find a place to set this up i have it mounted on the on the um on the glass i did try to put the one on top of the on top of the dash but it wasn't sticking properly my dash is kind of oily so that's why it's not sticking and i didn't feel like stick but anyway it's it's pretty good there it's not it's not in the way you can see um it's not blocking me i know when i'm driving across texas sometimes i have to be careful with um certain tongues and cities will look at that as obstruction in your view so you have to be careful so i'm gonna find some other way to put it down there or something but that'll be later on but for now you can see that works pretty good go back to the main screen you can see i can take my bluetooth call you can see i can go back to the main screen everything works phone link um android auto which is what i'm using i'm not using carplay so you have both options there that's pretty good i've had the um the bluetooth kind of feel on me a few times probably once or twice but i think it's getting better um the fm transmitter is working that's what i have it connected to right now 88.1 right now so it's so the music song's really good on there. Um, the navigation is Take looking the perfect. Right toward Harrisburg Boulevard, then turn right onto Harrisburg Boulevard. And you can see it breaks between the, right toward Harrisburg Boulevard, then turn it right breaks between the music to give you. Uh, I never turned on the music, but it breaks between the music to let you know what your turns when your turn is coming up. Um, you can always put that off, so that's not a problem. But other than that, everything works really good on there. Um, I've showed you guys the back button and all the kind of stuff, all, all the different options that you have, guys. So, guys, again, the description is down below. Check it out on Amazon. I will leave the description for you guys down below. Like everything else I review on my channel. Charlie, I'm out.